Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Starting World 5 1. Oh. 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 I'm glad I built up lives. Great music in this place, but. Oh. You'll see what I mean as I get through the design a explain the, des the design aspects of this level. Alright! Clearly I am not pleased in the slightest of this. It's called the Four Jewels. Because you're going to need to collect Four Jewels. It's not quiet, there's music going on, what the heck? Indeed. Ah, oh, there you are. I am Sulok, a priest of Colonia, the Temple of the Sun. Yeah, I'm so like. Please allow me to give you more. That's how I would react as, as well. <laughs> I really like, um. Thank you. Indeed. I mean, the camera panned right over him. No problem. Okay, it is a problem. Uh, it's not like they'll fight me. <laughs> Alright, so there's two paths that you can take. A left path and a right path. There's two uh, crystals per path. And you can see there's these little plaques that you'll see along the way that they have the little colored dots next to them that indicates which crystal is where. Alright, so you got these moving platforms. You can actually fall off these moving platforms, so you actually have to be careful in certain places. And careful with that ring, jeez! <laughs> um, I'm going to be... Oh, El Lava is one hit kill, by the way. Just saying, so be very careful about that. Uh, there's, there's a split path here you can... Could take this route to go for the red one or go for the take the other path for another crystal but I'm just gonna be doing the red one first just because it's here I'm gonna try and make it as organized as possible this the stage is very complex let's just say that and there's a lot of these one block jumps just like this one here you're gonna want to throw enemies at those marble hornet symbols to knock over some platforms to jump on on the other side, otherwise you're going to be stuck. That is an annoying aspect that I didn't even notice on my first run through here. And grab an enemy, over to the spring, carefully, good. And got that one freed. Let's move on. Here's the platforms that you have to make in order to progress. Okay, I'm good. And here's one of the crystals. One down, three to go, as well as, you know, getting the trapped villagers as well. <laughs> nope, no nope, freaking, no, I want my bonus. I want bonus time. Oh, <laughs> I was too late. I failed. And I just ran right into that Gordo. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to call him Gordos for the heck of it, I suppose. Need a regular guy, not a gold man. Those gold guys that you've seen right there. They take two hits to get their armor off. Oh, shoot. You know what? That works. <laughs> I needed a guy to jump over that flame. But I just got knocked out of my hand, so it's like, whatever. And you'll notice that you should be able to fit through that hole in the gate, but no, 
Nope, you can't do that. No, for some reason you can't. Gotta get all four of them. Uh, I probably shouldn't question the logic, but I mean, seriously, I w if I was Clonoa, I would definitely try to fit through that opening. Come on, man, you would too. <laughs> so now we go back on the other path. Yeah, this also has quite a bit of backtracking in the level, which is kind of an off game feature sometimes. It's not that bad of backtracking, but it, it is on the second path. Uh, checkpoint! Where does this take me to? See the blue one? That's the one that I want to get there. You'd think you'd be able to jump from, you know, from here into the background, but no, you can't do that either! Gotta follow the 2D paths! <laughs> oh, look out for the new spike ball guys that you see around these areas. You just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of looking out for those spike ball guys, but... You should probably look out for those spike ball guys. I believe this will take me to the foreground. Watch out for the perspective as well. So some things look like that they're closer than they actually are in some places. Oh, and this spot. This spot is so annoying. You've got this guy right here, which is annoying you by blocking your path like that. So you got to get rid of him first if you want to make things a lot easier on yourself. Now, here's the issue of this little area here and why... It, what makes this area so dang annoying? See, there's you need to have one guy there for you know just just to pop open that egg and rescue the trap villager. Now you need to grab another guy, go back on the platform, wait some more. Mm-hmm. Now you could theoretically grab onto the guy and you know use him as a jump, but the chances of you doing that and not falling in the lava is quite slim. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get a third guy and once again wait for the platform to kill off the blue hopping guy over there and hope you don't miss. Oh crap. <laughs> so because he hops so haphazardly it's kind of hard to aim for him. Sort of. Uh, because you know you have to do a little little jump yourself to make sure that you even get, get up to his height. And yes, there we go. Now I can safely get across and hopefully not get knocked back into the lava by the burner. But that worked out well, and I got myself the second crystal. And for some reason, when you grab a crystal, it locks you in, even though you can go down that path again if you'd want to. But I think it's because they want you to go through this path and, you know, not backtrack at all. And there's another trap villager. Checkpoint! And, oh wow, it takes you right here. That, I don't know why you'd actually want to go the other way then, you know, to backtrack. I don't know why they'd want to lock you in there, because it's harder to actually go back than it is going forward there. Alright, second path, green and yellow gems. Let's get it going. This place, I should say this half, is a lot more complex and a lot more annoying. Oh, you'll notice that you go inside a yellow door and not a green door, despite, you know, things there but the green green paths are actually over there and they're a lot more complex than the yellow ones I can believe I can just yeah, I can just jump right there good um, I believe those hitting those switches are a thing for the green path if I'm not mistaken wait I'm pretty sure I can I'm capable of hitting that switch from this side aren't I yeah there we go I just want to hit that for later and moving on. Oh, I've see, I seen that egg. i seen that. Oh, just a blue gem. Or a blue dream crystal. Okay, green path or yellow path. I'm going to take the yellow path. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I will take the green path just because it's a little bit harder. A little bit more complex. And I've already got... Oh! Woo! 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 <laughs> that did not work out well. But I still survive because I have loads upon loads of health. Oh, and I heard the original PlayStation version of this game is actually slightly harder because you don't have that um, tornado move to slow down enemies as well as uh, having six hits instead of ten like in this game. So this one is slightly easier than the PlayStation one from what I reckon. Uh, but otherwise, I, I they're both worth playing as far as I can tell no matter their difficulty or not. This one, I can tell you for sure, is pretty awesome, and I've seen the PlayStation one. It looks just as good. And get yourself across, and I'll take this door, and of which you want to hit this switch, which you couldn't hit on the other side because of that fence. So don't worry about that you missed that or anything like that. It's just a 
part of another path. Come on, little birdie. Give me. Oh, I, I need your body. Not in that way. Thank you. And I, I think I'll grab this heart because I've seen it on the other side. Because I'm running. Well, I, I was going to say running low on health, but that's obviously not the case. Ugh, do not miss that trap villager. It's kind of tricky to get back up there because those guys right there. And, uh, uh, and those these guys down here get in the way royally. Uh, but you only need one of these manta ray critter things to... Oh, shoot. Now I need more than one. <laughs> if you do it right, you only need one. Because, you know, you can just take off the armor of one of these guys, throw it, take it off. What? How did... No, it's impossible. How did that not break the armor off that other guy? That is... Imp... What? And how am I supposed to get past him now without taking a hit? Fine, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'll just take the hit like a man, grab the checkpoint, and meet you back at the main lobby of sorts. Ding! Oh, I guess I'm getting the jewels in order. Okay, one left. Okay, maybe this level isn't quite as bad as I recall, but it does have a lot of annoying spots like that part that I showed you, you know, which had that tote the enemy across on the moving platform with the lava and the enemies guarding the other side with the burner and stuff like that. Oh! And I'm just gonna drop off here again. I'm too impatient. Way too impatient. <laughs> um, whoa! That was close. <laughs> yellow. Mellow yellow deliciousness this way. And good! Did not get hit by your mace of doom or spike. But I got hit by yours. <laughs> Got some wheels of sorts. And should I even bother with these bonuses? Yeah, sure, why not? These these wheels are pretty easy to stay on, whatever the heck these things are. Like what what purpose in a mechanical world do those wheel thingies serve anyway? I, I just don't see unless they're like they're acting like a nut or something like that. And you'll notice that I got that enemy while jumping up I mean got that trap villager down there while jumping up here at the same time. Just a little shortcut so I don't have to do grab two enemies at once. And wow, that, that was it? Really? That that went great! <laughs> and now we can go through the door, which we could have gone through with just one crystal. <laughs> um, this thing can't do anything until you hit the switch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why I bothered to show that, but there you go. Shiny, beautiful light. Not too bad. What are you talking about? I did what you guys couldn't. <laughs> These guys are very, very casual guards. Uh-oh. What does this mean? No problem. What about you guys? We are all the observers. I told you, we're wimps. That's what I thought. Yay! And that's the end of Vision 5 1. I'm happy to get that one over with, but it's definitely not as bad as I remember it. I think. My first run through the game just made it seem worse than it actually was. It's one of those inexperience things, you know, that I had to get over. But this went really, really smoothly. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part.